Hi, my name's Paul Tursley, and this is a demo of PT Text Edit. You can use this script to very quickly search for and edit text layers throughout your project. So, uh, once you've installed the script in the Script UI Panels folder and restarted After Effects, you'll be able to select it from the window menu. And uh, it's a dockable panel, so you can drop it wherever you want it. Um, and you've got some search options here. You can search in all or selected comps, layers that are on or off. You can search for the text content or the font name or layer comments. But we're just going to hit search and do a search for all the text layers in this project, uh, which in this case there are just three. There's this one in this pre-comp pre and then there's uh, a couple more in the main comp. And um, you can see here uh, all the layers. It found all the layers. And the script is set by default to uh, make it easy for you to uh, edit the text contents of the layers so you can see edit text is turned on here and if I when I select each layer you can see the the values uh, get updated in the edit text box here based on the layer and that's because this auto fetch checkbox is turned on um, so when that's turned on any checked properties in this case just text uh, get pulled from the layer into this uh, settings panel at the top and so we can see this layer here uh, actually has a spelling mistake, an extra E. And uh, I can simply get in here and just uh, delete that. And you can see it updates instantly in the uh, project. And that's because auto apply is turned on, this auto apply checkbox. Um, so uh, when that's turned on, uh, any change that you make gets updated instantly. Um, now, something to watch out for when you're editing lots of text is uh, if you make a mistake, you'll discover that uh, when auto apply is turned on, every keystroke becomes a separate undo. So you can actually run out of uh, undos very quickly if you um, if you are editing lots of text with auto apply turned on. So in that case, you might want to leave this turned off. And um, now, actually, we can see here that uh, I did that undo, and the text has reverted back, but the script doesn't know that. Um, and um, in that case, I would hit this refresh button and that um, uh, if you've done an undo or uh, or you've changed some text layers outside of the script manually you can use the refresh button to update all your text layers uh, with their current text values and um, so now with auto apply turned off if I change the text you can see nothing changes until I hit apply and then uh, any check checked uh, text properties get applied to any selected layers in one go and um, they then become a single undo. So, um, but if auto apply is turned on, you can see that uh, you can very quickly do things like I'll change the, I want to give it a red fill color, and I want to change the typeface and make it bigger. Let's give it a fill and a stroke with a big stroke, and we'll make it a green stroke. Uh, so you can see that uh, you can very quickly make uh, changes uh, to your text layer. And um, you can then also very easily apply those textiles to another layer. So um, now for this, you want to make sure auto fetch is turned off so that when I select a different layer, these settings don't get grabbed from the layer that you select. So auto fetch is turned off. So if I select this layer, um, also, these uh, turn on off buttons are very useful for you can turn text layers on and off, so that can be quite handy to make sure you're you are you have selected the layer you think you have. So, um, but now if I hit apply now, then um, oh, actually I didn't want to do that because um, I didn't want to change the text, so I'm just going to undo that and uh, turn off edit text. Um, in fact, I just want to edit the style properties. So if I hit apply there. Uh, you can see then all the checked style properties get applied to this other layer. And um, uh, you can also save this as a preset. So um, actually, let's say uh, let, I'm going to edit all text styles. Um, and um, I'm going to fe hit fetch to fetch all of those values from this text layer. And then uh, hit save. And I'm going to save this as a preset. I'm going to call this red and green. Um, and then um, this this layer here, I also want to uh, save save these text style as a preset. So let's hit the fetch button um, to grab all those values, and then hit save. So let's call this blue 
and red. And then um, uh, auto apply is turned on. Let's say I select uh, all the text layers. Then I can very quickly apply all of those uh, textiles to uh, to all my layers just uh, just by selecting them uh, from selecting the preset from the pull down. Um, if auto apply wasn't turned on, uh, I could select the preset and then I would hit apply to apply all those uh, values to a different layer. Um, now, um, another thing is, um, let's say I want to change the font. Um, well, let's turn auto apply back on. Um, so you can see I'm changing the font of all selected text layers in one go. But let's say I wanted to choose a font that's not in the list. Um, you could create a new text layer and then do a new search, or you could choose this add a font option. Now this is quite fussy about getting the name right, but uh, if you do know the name, uh, then you can put it in and uh, it will add it to the font list. And this font list gets remembered between uh, sessions, so as uh, the more you use it, it will fill up with your most used fonts. Uh, now, uh, also there's this uh, help button, which has got some instructions here, um, and uh, there's some preferences we're going we're gonna to get to in a minute, and some links to the scripts uh, page on ascripts.com. Um, so we're going to go through some, open another project and go through some special cases with this script. Now, here we have a layer that's locked. We have a layer with uh, source text keyframes. This text has keyframes. And we have this layer that, um, that's the text, but then added to that is an expression uh, that is adding the time in seconds. Uh, to the end of the original text. So let's go through these one by one. There's uh, locked layers now. So let's go back to the search settings and do a new search to find these new layers. Uh, and you can see this warning, one or more text layers are locked, have source text keyframes or expressions. And there are icons to show which layers these are. Now let's start with the uh, locked layer. Now let's um, let's say we just want to edit the text and um, let's fetch that text. Now if I try to change that uh, you can see nothing happens because um, the layer is locked. You can turn locked layers on and off but you can't edit their uh, text or textile properties but there is a preference to override that. So if I turn off do not edit locked layers um, and then let's hit apply and you can see now uh, I can edit the text. Uh, so that's uh, locked layers. Now next up is this layer, this layer here with the source text keyframes. Now let's say I want to keep that text intact, um, the changing text, but I want to change the fill color. So let's um, select uh, this layer and uh, let's say I'm going to give it a green fill color. Now if we go and look at that layer, you can see what it's done is it's added a new keyframe at the current time, but uh, nothing's changed on the existing keyframe. So uh, in this case, this, that isn't the behavior that we want, um, but there is a preference. Layers with existing source text keyframes, you, instead of add new keyframe at current time, you can change it to change all existing keyframes. So now in this case, if I were to hit apply, um, and let's go back and look at it, you can see that that's change the fill color on all existing keyframes um, instead of creating a new keyframe. And finally we have uh, this layer here which um, the text here shows the res full result of the expression uh, but if I fetch that value um, oh, so edit text only fetch that value uh, you can see it only actually gives me um, what is the original text um, not to the text that's being controlled by the expression. And so I can actually change change that text um, and but I can't change the text that is being controlled by uh, by the expression. But you certainly can change like the fill color or any other textile properties. Um, so these are just things to watch out for uh, if you're dealing with these types of layers. So um, that's the script, um, so I hope you find it useful.